I said two, two years ago that Camp Liberty was going to be a concentration camp and, uh, and worse, a killing field. I am very, very sad to say that I've turned out to be correct. It's become exactly that, a concentration camp and a place where people are killed without any regard to, for dignity, human life, or decency. People abandoned by the United Nations, and even worse, abandoned by my country, the United States, that promised them protection. Shame on the United Nations. Shame on Martin Kobler. And shame on all of those who promised protection and are now refusing to give it. Shame on all of you! We... Where's the leader to say to the Ayatollahs? Where's the leader to say to Maliki? Where's the leader to say to Rouhani, no more killing! No more killing! In the name In the name of decency, free the people of Camp Liberty and Camp Ashraf. Free them now! No more talk, no more diplomacy, no more lies. Free them as you promised to do. I believe, I believe that the most honorable thing to do would be to take all those people who are now at Liberty and Ashraf, and because of the promises made by the United States of America, by my country, I believe it is our obligation to take all of them and bring them to the United States of America immediately. That would be the right thing to do. That would be the honorable thing to do. That would be the decent thing to do. Let me say to the people that are listening now or in the future, in Camp Liberty, and those remaining in Ashraf, you have my undying admiration. We admire your courage. We admire your love of freedom. We admire your love of country. We admire you greatly. And when the day comes, and it will come, that Iran is a free country again, that Iran is a decent country again, that Iran is allowed to live up to its great history. When that day comes, you, the people in Liberty and Ashraf, you will be the mothers and the fathers of freedom. You will be the heroes. I conclude by speaking directly to the people at Ashraf and Liberty. We love you. We love you because we admire you so much. We wonder if we could handle with the same dignity and the same strength and the same commitment what you've had to handle. But we know why you're doing it. You're doing it not only for your own freedom, but for the freedom of your children and for the freedom of your great nation, Iran. I tell you now, and I say to you, all decent people are with you. It doesn't matter what their political leanings are. It doesn't matter what their ethnic background, race, or religion. We're all with you. We are sitting with you in Ashraf right now. We only hope and we wish that we have the strength and courage that you have. But our admiration for you is endless. God bless you, and God will lead us to a free and a decent Iran because of you, the people of Ashraf, and because of you and Madame Rajavi. Thank you, and God bless you.